Hello all, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for supporting me to reach this huge milestone of 100,000 subscribers. So I'm gonna come up with a cool raffle to give away some gifts to you all for people who have supported me. Stay tuned for that video. And uh, these questions are both from Instagram and as well as from the community post. So if you haven't followed my Instagram, please follow there so that anything that I'm gonna do in future, I'm going to post there. And you can also ask me questions or connect to me personally in Instagram. So with that aside, let's get into the questions. I have picked some questions from both Instagram and YouTube community posts. And I have uh, picked mostly the questions that I can answer and that will cover a lot of other redundant questions as well. And first of all, uh, Pawan Gangadhar has asked a lot of good questions on the community post and most of you have also liked the, uh, liked his questions. So I'm going to answer mostly uh, his questions along with a lot of other questions. So the first question is from Armanism. The question is, how did you get job in USA and is, is it required to have a native like English speaker or just normal would be okay? Yeah, so I have explained in my previous video on how I got job in USA. Basically, I haven't gone to USA on a study visa or I haven't gone through H1 to search for a job. It happened through an intra-company transfer where if you work for a company here in India, uh, they will transfer you to work in India in rather USA. And that visa is called L1 visa. So next question is from Silent Eyes. I'm in confusion that which one to pick among DevOps or Azure? DevOps or Azure DevOps or AWS DevOps. So this is the most common question that you guys have been asking me. I also have created a video on Azure DevOps, but if you want to pick one, I would uh, strongly recommend to pick Azure DevOps. So this is another common question that people had in their mind after watching my viral video that is going closer to 1 million views. So the question uh, from Anurag Mishra is how much you earned in US, uh, what's the package out there for cloud architect? And uh, different cities have different levels of expenses. How did you manage to save money? All right, so before I answer this question, I would like to thank my sponsor Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a platform where you get access to lots and lots of courses and you can pick your specific skill that you want to develop in 2022. I personally use Skillshare to watch this amazing course about YouTube success script and shoot by the legendary MKBHD. It helped me to create better videos and get better at creating content. But if you are interested in DevOps, you can search for DevOps courses as well. So there are courses on DevOps, cloud and, and most importantly, the first thousand people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And I think Skillshare can help you to make 2022 a year of new learning, growth, and connection through creativity. So check it out, click on the link right away, and do not miss one month free subscription. Now coming back to the question. So uh, when I lived in US, uh, my package was decent enough. It's more than what I've said in the viral video. I don't want to give the exact number because there are a lot of other Verizon people who are watching this video. So I would not give that package. And I was living in New Jersey, so that money was enough for me to survive uh, in fact, save some money along with my family. And second part of the question was that how much does Cloud Architect usually makes in US? So they make a lot of money in US. Like you said, it depends on state to state. Uh, for example, my friends in Seattle, some make uh, closer to $300,000 or some even make uh, $350,000 in that part of the state. And now if you are working from a Florida state or if you're working in Texas, you might get lesser pay when compared to California. Uh, but cloud architects these days are making very good money. So the next question is from Amit Nath. Uh, what is your opinion about the future of cloud? Will GCP surpass AWS? What's your personal preference? I've been using GCP lately and worked on AWS previously. So just wanted to know your personal preference considering future of cloud and perspective and respective jobs. Now, if GCP can surpass AWS, that's a tough question to answer. But the way it is going at this point of time, uh, it takes a lot of time for GCP to surpass AWS um, as these clouds cannot match the scale of AWS. And also since AWS came to the market very early, so they have that early advantage. Now, as far as my favorite is concerned, I don't have any favorites as such. And I also believe that you should not have one favorite. You should have a broad mind of uh, switching around to different clouds and learning different clouds and uh, knowing the pros and cons of each cloud will help you to 
you know excel in that cloud better and like i've said you know most of the companies will go to will have multiple clouds so you should not uh, stick to one cloud as soon as you learn one cloud in a specific company you should switch and learn as much as you can the main services of other clouds as well or the important services of other clouds as well aditya wants to know more about the real time project so aditya i'm going to cover not exactly what i'm doing in my current role but i'm going to cover how a real time project might look like in a devops job or a cloud job i'm working on that actually okay so the next question is from pavan gangadhar who has asked lot of questions what to say when hr asks why are you switching the job do you switch if some other companies gives you pay okay so basically what pavan is asking is if a hr will ask you this question like you know if some other company is offering you more pay will you switch to that company yeah hrs do ask this question but honestly that question even hrs know that you know a person might change if if that person is not satisfied with the job or if a person is not satisfied with the pay or even if some other company is going to pay better than this company down the line so that's like a hypothetical question uh, for that you can say that it depends on a company and it depends on the pay in future so at this point of time i'm interested in this company that i'm currently applying or i'm interested in your company we will look at the future when it comes to that there's no right or wrong answer to this and i don't think hrs will not release an offer to you based on this question alone all right so the next question is from venki stark i think he's a huge fan of uh, game of thrones and i'm also fan of starks so do we need to learn dsa competitive coding skills as a fresher with one year it experience to apply for cloud to apply for cloud role so venki what i recommend for freshers who are coming out of the college is to have a good sound programming skills um so if dsa is very difficult at least learn programming knowledge or at least you should able to, you should able to solve uh, the questions that you are asked in the interview and as far as cloud is concerned i don't think you need data structures to get into a cloud job but again it depends on where you want to go into cloud like for example if you are uh, going to go as a cloud developer so obviously you have to have the dsa knowledge to go into the cloud developer role in a cloud uh, because you are going to develop in in cloud and you have to use algorithms and you have to use programming languages for that so it usually depends on the role but if you are looking for a devops sort of a role um, then you might not need dsa again this this question is again from pawan gangadhar do you think companies paying more for 2 to 3 years of experience people who have completed some basic cloud certification just based on 20 minutes of interview because i see people getting 200 to 350% of hike so pawan this is again based on what i have seen in the industry and i kind of agree with you so the pay of uh, a junior engineer uh, to 6 years or 7 six years or 7 years of experience so they are having very high packages when compared to like 11 or 12 years of experience and it's also easy to get a job if you are in this range of experience i think partly the reason for that is companies are looking for a junior engineers who can do hands on stuff uh, as opposed to a lead or a manager so that's why they are trying to hire in this age group and that way you know they they'll have they are young and you know they have this whole fresh blood uh, ready to go in that project i think that's uh, the reason why they are being hired more and they are paid more but if, but if you guys have any other views on that please let me know in the comment section because i'm just saying based on what i'm looking or what information i got uh, some of these questions you might have better answers so feel free to comment in the below section this is again from uh, pawan gangadhar as well how do you get out of comfort zone i mean honestly comfort zone is the best place to be in most of the time um, and i have been in the comfort zone in some companies for one year Uh, but generally the way I, i get out of comfort zone is that i try to check in the market you know where i am and i usually do that once in a while like every 6 months or one year i do that check like how i am placed in the market whether if i can get a job right now in the market so that's what i would suggest people as well if you want to come out of comfort zone you always have to look for jobs it doesn't mean that you have to go for a job from by quitting your company but at least you do that check of yourself 
every six months where you are and if company will fire you or if you want to leave a company can you really get a job so if you are doing that then obviously you know you're not in a comfort zone or you can easily come out of comfort zone so there are a lot of other factors as well maybe i can address this in a separate video so arvind siva is asking this question will learning azure devops is a good career for fresher coming from non it field who has no experience in it okay i'm going to make more videos on azure devops but uh, for non it person or a fresher who has to start from scratch uh, you can pick devops or azure devops it's not a bad idea but generally they look for some experience but these days i'm hearing that you know they are also looking for people who have cloud knowledge right from out of the college but i will try to answer that on azure devops videos uh, specifically on this question as well this is from pawan again how to prepare for interviews especially when you haven't learned anything in few years and kept on doing the same routine work in your comfort zone so this is same uh, going back to the comfort zone question and i was in that place when i was working at ca i was having best time with my friends at ca you know uh, i was just hardly working for few hours and then i had good work life balance the ca campus in hyderabad is also amazing campus so when you're working in a company like i've said in my last question you have to pick the technology where you want to switch and then start preparing for the technology and then when you are preparing for the interviews you have to make sure like you are you are somehow related to the technology in a same team or best ways to switch in the same company by applying internal job uh, and switch to the technology work for some time and then go to the next company but i think the toughest thing like you said pawan is that after you have learned a technology like devops or cloud or any technology um, unless you have the real experience or unless you know the what unless you know what are the scenarios you know it will be tough to answer in the interviews but the good news is that since you all have real experience you know uh, there's there is going to be only first or second question on the scenarios and then they will obviously go into the technical part so don't worry too much about the interview process or uh, what they might ask about your project and stuff i think that's what a lot of people are worried uh, it is just like one or two questions and then you can you can answer that uh, within your project somehow by doing poc or something and then you can go to the next question where there going to be more technical questions on that so vishnu vardhan is asking this question in the current world of privacy can we trust cloud as much as on premise what's your take on security in cloud in fact i am working security in cloud at this point of time and uh, you're right there is a lot of scope for cloud security going forward and you you can see even the it security space is growing so if anybody is interested to learn cloud security or uh, learn it security Uh, please let me know in the comment section so that i can see if, if i can come up with more or some videos on uh, that part so chandu is asking this question since this is a qa i would like to know where i can learn gcp like the contents vpc compute engine um, all the services of gcp uh, for for a devops role now we're learning gcp I have covered a lot of videos in the youtube here in my channel most of these services and there are lot of other videos as well who are covering gcp stuff there is udemy there is plural site so there is no dearth of content uh, chandu to learn gcp uh, i would say go through the documentation and create get a 300 dollar credits free credits to go to the google cloud console and practice around this one practice around these services so most importantly go through the documentation and never ever go through any books because books are not for at least learning technical content so this question is from sayed please elaborate the effects of ai and automation on devops and cloud computing in coming years would you advise to the students from core branches who are switching to it to go for devops or cloud computing so sir that's a very good question so now devops and cloud is more like a necessity and ai is more like a luxury for a lot of companies but there are some core companies like there are companies who are making products on ai uh, so for them ai is more more important but if you look at enterprises they have to eventually go to cloud and then they will do ai stuff or they will do all those uh, stuff to automate or you know do create machine learning models on their data but to start with the the bay but to start with they would definitely have to use the devops practices and go to cloud and do all these things so and do all these bare minimum things that is required yeah i would suggest um, it people to use cloud or learn cloud 
and then eventually based on their interest they can also learn AI and this is a very interesting concept I will try to cover in one video uh, the effects of AI on DevOps and cloud the best way to learn anything from Pawan Gangadhar again the best way to learn anything is learn uh, yourself set a target complete smaller tasks each day uh, prepare for certification try to teach what you have learned to others like there are many such mediums you can write medium articles you can write or rather you can uh, create youtube channel but basically the best uh, way to learn is learn and then teach others that way it will be easier for you to remember things that you have learned and i also recommend you all to create your own youtube channel and if you have any questions or, or if you need any help on that i'll be more than happy to help like what gear i use like how do i do editing and all those things how do you see smartphones changing today's generation and how many hours do you use your phone and which apps you use the most basically i'm trying to reduce the usage of smartphone in my day to day work i think in a day i might use close to 2 hours or 3 hours of uh, smartphone uh, but i also use a lot of you know ipad and uh, other stuff and as far as apps are concerned i mostly use um, whatsapp and i use medium uh, to read articles and then and then of course uh, youtube to see what is other content or to do some research and instagram so i use instagram um, whatsapp and gmail youtube and other basic uh, apps that is needed for me to do my work uh, i think as far as impact on the today's generation is concerned i think everybody knows that that you know today's generation it applies to me and it applies to everybody else is that uh, we have mastered the art of distraction like whenever we are doing anything we need a smartphone if you are eating we need a smartphone but end of the day it's in our control you know use it wisely for your education and uh, for your needs that will help you to uh, go to the next level so this is from career coach uh, from instagram so her question is our indian students are potential enough to excel in the job but they are struggling to get a job what is the challenging factor and how to overcome the shots um i think this is a tough question to answer but basically there are a lot of it people who are coming out of the college in india especially in it because there are other streams people who are also coming into it the only thing that is in our hands is to keep learning the new technologies and the other important thing is that focus more on your communication skills because that will help you to overcome you uh, to overcome some of the technical lackings that you have um, focus more on that like english speaking communication skills uh, you know do practice reading and it's one of the most important skill if you want to get a job in india or anywhere in the world thank you all for watching this video thank you again for supporting this channel and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section do like this video uh, i'm going to come up with more azure videos and i'm going to come up with how a devops would look like in a real world scenarios and more of that stuff coming soon in this channel so do subscribe and uh, stay safe take care bye